So Switch my coin here, guys. So today I'm gonna stop acting like my room is clean all the time and acting like I have my life together when I don't. Um, so it seems to be always the thing. Like YouTubers are always like they have like the cleanest rooms and backdrops. Like quit acting like your life's together. All right, it's not. So today we're gonna be talking about the differences in fashion between Poland versus USA. It's kind of a part of my Poland versus America series where I kind of talk about smaller differences and some things I noticed between the two countries. So today we're gonna to be talking about moda albo fashion and some of the things that I notice. So first thing I wanna mention is that this is based on my opinions between the two countries and it's just based off of my observations that I made. Some of my background is that I'm an American. I've lived in America pretty much my entire life and I've lived in Poland, I guess you could say for close to 90 days. So that's just kind of where I'm coming from with this. So today I'm gonna be talking about makeup, haircut, tattoos, and overall fashion look. So starting off with the overall fashion look, it's in my opinion that Europeans dress a lot better than Americans. And I'm coming from a small town, but I base this off of whenever I'm going to my college class and I see girls wearing sweatpants or yoga pants and like just a coat or sweatshirt. And I see guys wearing sweatpants and a sweatshirt, pretty much just vice versa. Versus when I'm in Poland, and I see girls dressing up, you know, wearing full, like, full outfits that are thought of from head to toe. And same thing with guys. And I never see anyone wearing yoga pants or sweatpants in public. And I always thought this was weird because I'm so used to it in the States because it seems like everyone does that. And it's really weird to me because when I was in Poland and my girlfriend and I were going to the gym, she packed her yoga pants in a bag and she had jeans on. And I'm like, well, what are you doing? Why don't you just wear yoga pants to the gym? And she's basically just saying, no, it's kind of trashy. I don't, I don't do that. And it's, it's really interesting because it just seems like so many girls wear yoga pants here everywhere. That's the only thing they wear versus girls in Poland. They're wearing like jeans and other things. It seems like a lot of guys just wear sweatpants here or joggers and over in Poland that's not really the thing so overall I think a lot of people care more about their fashion in Poland versus America and you know there's some instances where I'm with my girlfriend and we want to go down to the street to the grocery store in Poland and she starts dressing up you know putting makeup on I'm like what are you doing what are you doing let's you know we're just going to the store real quick let's go and you know she's like no no you know I gotta dress up and you know so I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing um, but you know, I don't really, for me personally, you know, if I'm just going to the store, I'm wearing like pajamas pretty much, you know, I'm American, so whatever, right? So another thing I want to talk about is makeup. And it's something that I don't really see in the States is that is girls wear makeup. Um, and this is kind of based off going to college and it seems like about 25% of girls wear makeup and the rest don't and never do. And versus in Poland, it seems like every single girl is always wearing makeup i remember telling my girlfriend like why are you wearing makeup you know let's just go out you look great without makeup and she was she was almost like confused by it because she said if you're in a relationship in poland it always seems like um you know guys want you to wear makeup before going out and stuff so it's kind of it's kind of a weird difference between us because i'm constantly urging her not to wear makeup and just to go out because she looks great so it's kind of interesting so another fashion difference that I want to talk about is these side bags, basically fanny packs. This is kind of like an oversized one that you can have like over yourself and wear it kind of like that. Personally, I love having this because I can put my camera gear and stuff like that when I'm walking around in Poland. And this is something you don't see in the States at all. In fact, it's starting to come about with wrappers, I think now, but for the most part, you don't really see these side bags at all, and they have a lot of good function, to be honest. And versus where I've seen a lot of guys in Poland, like if they're just going to the grocery store or something like that, and they have their phone, their wallet, and everything in there. But I think in the States, it would be roasted for the most part. 
So yeah, people would probably call you gay or homosexual here if you have that saying like you have a purse, you're just a girl, stuff like that. But honestly, I think they're going to be a big trend here probably within a few years. So it's something that I think is pretty cool because it has so much functionality to it. Another thing is scarves, and that's probably something you don't really see a whole lot of in America. If you go to New York City, it's a thing there, but other than that, it's not. And I remember being a kid wearing a scarf and being roasted by my friends. You know, they would like call you gay or whatever. Yeah, so it's, it's something that's kind of seen as feminine here. But honestly, I mean, they have so much functionality and I see a lot of guys wearing scarves in Poland. So I love scarves, to be honest, because they have so much functionality to them. So I don't really care what people say because of that. Um, it's something I still love. So another thing that I want to talk about is tattoos. And I would consider them a fashion, I guess, I guess you could say. So I want to put them in this category. But for the most part, they're not really a big thing in Poland compared to the States. And still with like older generations i feel like i have to hide my tattoos and i guess that's out of respect because i get where they're coming from in the past of like viewing people with tattoos as gang members or like ex-prisoners and stuff like that but so it seems like here tattoos are a little more open and visible especially now like you're seeing all these rappers with neck tattoos face tattoos etc so it's becoming more and more popular here which i think will happen to poland eventually but it's just gonna take some time and also shout out to tattoos in Poland I got these done in Gdańsk so the last thing I want to talk about today is haircuts so we're first gonna talk about guys haircuts here and for the most part I see lots of guys where they have haircuts where it's just shaved on one length all the way up to the top here and then it's all pretty much it's pretty much just all shaved one length no fade until it's just all the hair is right there like there's just no blend or fade or whatever which um which is kind of weird to me because i see the most like blunt cuts there where it's just all shaved and then boom hair which is kind of weird to me personally i love my fades and i'm not and i'm not saying that all guys have that cut because i've seen so many good cuts there that it's actually really awesome and i've gotten my haircut there a ton of times in the summer and absolutely loved it so that's not everyone, but I see a lot of guys doing that. Another thing is man buns, and it seems like it's still a thing in Poland. And I was surprised actually, this past summer when I was there, I saw tons of guys with man buns. And honestly, I was, I was really shocked by it because I'm not used to it here anymore. It was kind of a thing of like 2015, 2016. And it was just a trend that quickly, you know, came into the limelight and then it just died. So it's just something that I don't really see anymore, but um, you know, if that's your style, then, you know, good for you, right? So it's just something I don't really see anymore in America, but I still see it in Poland. So the last thing to talk about is girls dyeing their hair. My girlfriend mentioned this where she saw and she noticed a lot of girls here dyeing their hair pretty much every color of the rainbow. And it's something she doesn't really see often in Poland. And I would say this is definitely true because lots of girls here do dye their hair. I feel like it's a thing in smaller towns for girls to do this, but dyeing their hair uh, bright colors or random colors like rainbow stuff, is kind of, it's kind of a thing in smaller towns. I'm not really sure why, but that's just how it feels. And in Poland, I didn't really see girls dyeing their hair um, kind of like bold, vibrant colors. So it's just something I noticed. Alright guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't seen my other Versus series, check out the house differences between Poland and America. And yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video. Stay tuned for others soon. And with that being said, Jinkuya i Delitania.